if you've played Pokemon Go, you know there are a lot of numbers in this game and a lot of opportunities for you to use your math skills. For example, how much will it cost to buy 100 Pokeballs and 25 incense? It costs 460 Poke Coins for 100 Pokeballs and 1,250 for 25 incense. And we need to put all of that together, so we need to add. Make sure that when you add, that you line up the ones place, line up the tens, line up the hundreds, and line up the thousands. Otherwise, you won't be adding correctly. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus six is 11. Carry the one. One plus two plus four is seven, and then one. So it costs 1,710 Poke Coins. Now, not all of the problems are going to be that easy, and you need to read them carefully, maybe look for key words to help you figure out what operation you need to perform. If I need 5,000 XP points to level up to level 6, how many more points do I need if I currently have 1,430? find how many points I need, I need to find the distance between 1,430 and 5,000. The operation you use to do that is subtraction. When you subtract, make sure you line up the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus three you can't do because you can't take three from zero. So we need to borrow from the higher place values. So we're going to take from the thousands, that becomes 4, the hundreds becomes 9, and the tens becomes 10. So 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So I need 3,570 more XP points. You can always check your subtraction by adding the answer plus what you subtracted from. And it should get you the original number, and I can see that I get 5,000, I have it correct. Potion will heal and increase a Pokemon's HP by 20 points. If I use all 16 of my potions after a battle, how many total HP points will all my Pokemon go up? So the key thing here is that I have 16 potions and each one's 20 points. So I have 16 of these 20 point potions. And so I could add them all up, but it would be easier if we go 20 times 16. And the traditional method, and multiply the ones place the 6 times the 20 and 6 times 20 is 120. Now I'm multiplying the 1 which is actually 10 so I put a 0 and then I do 1 times the 20 and 1 times 20 is 20 so that's really a 200. Now I add and it's 320 so if I have 16 potions each worth 20 points, the total is 320 points. Another way to multiply is to use the lattice method. And you make a square grid for each digit and draw diagonals across. Multiply each digit and put it in the corresponding square. Then add the diagonals. So you have 0, 2, and three. So we also get 320 total points from the lattice method. Is it cheaper per egg to buy one lucky egg for 80 pokey coins or 25 eggs for 1,250 pokey coins? So you know the price for one is 80, but if we buy 25, we need to find the price for just one. So we're sharing the price of 1,250 for all 25 eggs. We want to know what that's going to be for just one egg out of that. And so we're going to need to divide and share that price for all 25 eggs. I'm going to use long division. The divisor goes on the outside and the dividend goes on the inside. The steps for long division are divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. And we start saying, how many 25s go into 1? Well, 25 can't go into 1, so that's 0. 
the remainder of 1 and we bring down 2 to make it 12. And then we say, how many 25s go into the 12? Well, 25 is still too big, so that's 0. We have a remainder of 12, and we bring down the 5. How many 25s go into 125? So we skip count. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. That's five times. We see we have no remainder. We bring down the last digit, which is a zero. And we say, how many times does 25 go into zero? Well, zero times. And we see we have no remainder. So the answer is 50 pokey coins for one egg if we buy 25 of them. So that is way cheaper than just buying one egg for 80.